Horus is always doing something fun and creative, and today's watch has Star Wars fans in mind with this very special limited edition piece. With Star Wars, the possibilities are endless for making watches based on characters. And while you may be surprised about which character they chose for this, the colors actually justify it. Of course, I'm talking about the Aquas Stormtrooper Limited Edition. Stormtroopers may not be the most powerful or interesting characters, and they absolutely can't hit the broadside of a barn with a laser, but they are most definitely iconic to the Star Wars franchise, and the color scheme of black and white on this piece is absolutely set to stun. Oris has also included some really thoughtful Easter eggs on this piece, which I will address later on in the video. But will this piece be the Star Wars collectible watch that you have been waiting for, or are you waiting for the Luke Skywalker edition? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Seiko SSH-129 Resident Evil Death Island Astron, which is a video game inspired solar GPS time titanium timepiece. This piece has a lot to love in its angular case design and fascinating asphalt dial, but it isn't as much about the Resident Evil video game as some enthusiasts may want. However, that also may be a positive for people who don't like Resident Evil and just want a killer under the radar timepiece. Wrist check time, today I'm wearing my Oris Aquas Clipperton Island Limited Edition. I took the black rubber strap off that it came with and I ordered this titanium bracelet for it, which feels great. My wife actually got this one for me as a gift and I wore it on my wedding, so it's very special for me. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Aquas Stormtrooper Limited Edition has a 42.6 millimeter case width, not measuring the crown protector, a 13.1 millimeter thickness, a 49.8 millimeter lug to lug, a proprietary lug pattern, but the exterior is 23.6 millimeters wide, a 32.3 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 184.02 grams. The case is matte finished on the sides and has high polish on the lugs. With a screwed in crown protector, screw down crown, and Aura's proprietary triple pattern screws to hold the bracelet and crown protector on. The crystal is slightly domed and protrudes above the bezel. The bezel insert is ceramic and is a combination of white and black with a TIE fighter for the pip at the 12, and we will find out if it glows later on. It turns unidirectionally, and let's go ahead and give it a click test. The clicks sound great and are very crisp, plus it has a great grip factor. Oris really does make a nice bezel for this price point. The dial is black and has a motif of the Death Star in the center. And you have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and most likely Luke Skywalker's X-Wing chasing each other around it. Oris can be found in white at the top section of this piece. The markers are high polish and look very aerodynamic with an open stripe of loom down the center of each. The hour and minute hands are lance style with a division in the loom on the hour hand and are in high polish. The second subdial has an imperial logo on it in white with a white tipped second hand. Aquas pressure resistant 30 bar slash 300 M can be found at the lower middle portion. The date aperture is at the sixth position and has a black background with white numerals. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour, minute and second hands and yes, the TIE Fighter pip at the 12 on the bezel. The case back is closed and has the Stormtrooper helmet right in the center, with Star Wars and the limited edition number beneath it. It says only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise, which is a line that Obi-Wan said and is kind of a meme among fans since they really are not precise. The movement is the Oris Caliber 743, which is a Salita based mechanism that has a 38 hour power reserve, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, has 28 joules, and while no accuracy rating is published, from my experience, these pieces will have an accuracy under 10 seconds per day, plus or minus. The bracelet is a proprietary three link style Aquas bracelet with high polish on the outer links and matte on the center, which tapers from 24 millimeters to 16 millimeters and back to 18 millimeters at the buckle. 
It has a folding clasp with a micro adjust. The Orisaku Stormtrooper Limited Edition is limited to 1,300 pieces total, is 300 meter water resistant, has a two-year warranty that can be extended to three now by registering it, and can be yours for $2,700. Now for my personal opinion. So I'm a big Star Wars fan firstly, and I really appreciate the effort that Oris took in putting the fun Easter eggs on this piece. However, a Stormtrooper is really no one's favorite character, so I wish that they had continued with the series and made some other characters like Yoda, Obi-Wan, or Luke Skywalker. Even a Boba Fett would be cool. They did make Darth Vader, which came out at the same time as this too, so I really don't get why they stopped. I do get why they chose the Stormtrooper though, because the color combination is just unusual and striking. A black and white dive watch is a lot of fun. The Aquas case is great for most wrist sizes, and this is the standard size, which I personally think has the best proportions, even being the largest at 43.5 millimeters officially. It looks great on my six and a half inch wrist, and I'm very used to it because I own one too. I'll go ahead and recommend this piece to anyone who is a Star Wars fan and wants a collectible, or someone who just wants a great looking black and white themed dive watch to add to their collection. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.